from the East Tennessee Weather Center, here's your evening weather update with meteorologist Mike Witcher. It sure turned out to be an amazing Thursday, and our Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are going to be much more of the same. Although we do have a weak cold front headed our way tomorrow and again on Sunday, Monday time frame, and Sunday, Monday's cold front is going to bring us some even more amazing weather as we get into the next week. Finally, some solid fall weather is on the way. Stay tuned for Let's talk about this evening. It's going to be a nice evening around East Tennessee. And of course, we'll continue to see those temperatures uh, stay nice and mild. We're going to top out or drop down into the upper 70s by around 8 o'clock here tonight. High pressures continue to shift its way off to the south and southeast. Now, as we get into our Friday, we've got a couple things going on in the atmosphere. A, high pressure is to our south and southeast. Then we have some disturbances on the western side of that ridge of high pressure. Plus, we've got a little trough to our north and west. So it's going to do a couple things, right? The energy to our south and southwest will help to produce some rain showers down into uh, parts of Alabama, parts of North, uh, Georgia, and the cold front's going to approach from the north and northwest. Now, for us here locally, it's likely not to add up to a whole lot of activity. Yeah, yeah, we'll probably see a couple of showers here and there on Friday, but not a big deal. As the cold front swings its way through as we get into the upcoming weekend, Friday into Saturday, it'll drop the humidity just a skosh. Not a ton. But... Things will begin to change as that next frontal boundary heads our way. So as we get into our Saturday and Sunday, the dew points drop a little bit. That's going to allow our morning lows to come on down. That's going to give us uh, a nice comfortable feel to the atmosphere, even though temperatures are still going to be on the warmer side. But the cold front's going to head our way as we get into our Sunday-Monday time frame. And look at this drier air that's going to start to settle, settle on in. And that drier air is a sign of a refreshing feel to the atmosphere. Because the lower the humidity is, A, the air feels even better anyways. Even if it's 100 degrees, the air feels better if the air is dry. But when the air temperatures are expected to be in the 70s, that's going to allow low temperatures to come down into the 40s and 50s. So take a look at your low temperatures. Look at this, 40s and low 50s, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I mean, we're talking about like sweatshirt kind of weather. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Not until then, though. And then dew points will come on down. So remember, the temperature can and never will drop below the dew point. So the lower the dew point, the lower those morning lows will go, especially on a clear, uh, clear night. We do have a chance for a couple spotty showers as we head into our Friday. Probably not a whole lot as we get into Saturday and Sunday, and likely not the case as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. So really looking at some pretty lackluster rainfall around East Tennessee over the next seven days, which is fine. We don't need the moisture at this point of the game, even though the drought has continued to uh, kind of decrease. We still have a little bit of a drought around the area. I'll talk about that here in a second. So we'll go 20% chance of rain as we get into our Friday and Sunday. Other than that, we're going to stay on the dry side. Average high for this time of year is 77, so trending above average all the way through the weekend, and then below average Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm telling you, my friends, this is going to be amazing weather. I promise you, you will absolutely love this weather pattern Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and the 6 to 10-day outlook, yeah, below average. As we get into the 8 to 14-day outlook, probably about average or so. We'll have to watch this warmer air to our west. Does it actually creep its way in past the two-week time frame? We'll keep you posted on that. And for those of you getting ready to head down to the coastal areas for fall break, the good news is we're still sitting only at a 30% chance for some showers along the coast. No tropical issues whatsoever. That's some good news to pass along compared to what we were talking about at the beginning of the week. So don't forget, if you are heading off on fall break, you can put your location right there at the top of the East Tennessee weather up to this little plus sign. Put your location where you're heading. Say you're going to Destin. Say you're going to Tampa. Say you're going to Miami. Whatever it may be, put your location there before you head into your vacation. You'll get an idea of what the forecast is going to be like getting up to that point. And then when you're on vacation, come back to this daily forecast weather updates before you head back home and you'll understand about the weather patterns setting up shop right here in East Tennessee. So we sure hope you have a great rest of your night. Don't forget, Wake Up with the Witcher starts off at 7 o'clock in the morning, bright and early as we get started on our good old Friday morning. And it's not just Friday morning. It is football Friday, my friends. What does that mean? The orange suit is coming on back. I hope you check back in.